Hello guys and gals, and welcome uh, to another episode of uh, Skills and Abilities. Today we are going to be going over the uh, bear shapeshifted ability uh, known as Maul. Maul is um, the pretty much the only attack ability, or physical attack ability, that the bear has. Um, I mean, Shockwave is more of a spell than it is anything else, and uh, Fire Claws is an elemental damage attack. Um, hunger isn't really physical because it has that negative 75% damage debuff on it, so it tends to do very little physical damage, even with the buff from Maul. But it is probably the one or two abilities here that can actually benefit from Maul's subsequent other attacks. Um, now, Maul is um, an odd ability that uh, charges up, and uh, it's important to note that um, it increases in number of charges depending on what level you have the ability. So at level 1 it only has 3 charges, which means you only have to successfully hit 3 times to actually um, build up the full charge. Um, it also increases pretty dramatically as you level it though. So for instance, right now I currently have level 27 Maul, which uh, has 3 to 48% increased attack speed, and 30 to 480 percent damage. Um, if I go out into you know like Stony Field or something real quick and show you guys, um, this bit ability basically just builds up charges each time you hit. Now, what did I say it was for level um, 27? It was 16 charges. So uh, watch as I kill monsters. You will see one charge, two charge, three charge, four, five. Six, seven, and we can continue this the whole way. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, uh, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Well, I'll stop count it. Sixteen. And then after you attack at that point, there are no subsequent increases in the amount of damage output. This means that the werebear's damage output is going to be higher after attacking a large number of times. Much, much higher. Now, um, the way that these abilities work is the damage, the, the numbers that are written in, like, dashes. So the attack speed and the damage percentage here is, you know, 30 to 480. It's 3 to 4, 48%. So that will actually transfer to other abilities. So if I were to use, for instance, Fire Claws... Uh, Fire Claws will benefit from the bonus that I am giving it. Now, unfortunately, because the enhanced damage is physical only, it will not increase the damage output of the fire part of Fire Claws. However, it will increase the physical component of Fire Claws. There's always a physical component of a melee attack, unless for some reason it's been stripped away. Um, and this means that... Um, you will get a pretty nice damage bump from the uh, from this. Now, I, Fire Claws has, you can see, 1,895. Um, when I use Fire Claws on a target, even if the target is fire immune, um, they still will get killed. And the reason is because I'm still dishing out a pretty healthy amount of physical damage along with the elemental damage. Um, and uh, I'm getting a huge bump here through 480% physical damage increase to my Fire Claws ability. Um, I'm also getting the attack speed bonus too, and that is important. So 3 to 48%. So to get the 48% increase to attack speed, I've got to hit them uh, a pretty large number of times, 16 times, to make that happen. Um, now, if I increase my level even further, like for instance, if I get Maul to level 40, it's now 23 charges, so I have to successfully hit 23 times. Uh, level 50 is 28 times, and so forth and so on. Now, um, this particular ability is great because it really does hit pretty hard, um, and the attack speed bump is, of course, very nice to have. Uh, because once you get that attack speed bump running, you can definitely swing your weapon a hell of a lot faster and hit a hell of a lot harder. Um, but a lot of monsters in the game are like one hits, they're like one shot monsters. Like if I'm actually using a, a good weapon, like an Eth Reaper's Toll, and I'm running around attacking, I'm probably going to pretty much one shot or two shot most monsters anyway. 
Um, so it's kind of not the best thing that your highest damage output is coming after you attack a certain number of times, uh, because most of the time you're just running around murdering stuff one hit at a time. Um, now, what does not transfer with Maul? Um, the attack rating does not transfer to the next ability, uh, and the stun length does not transfer to the next ability. So Maul also has a stun, and it's kind of odd. Um, so the skill description always displays the maximum stun length as though the skill were used, not charge level. Um, so the stun length, I believe, actually increases... Um, with level, uh, so we got 1.68 seconds at level 1, and, uh, you know, like at level 40, we're looking at, like, 3.52 seconds. Right now, at level 27, I'm already at uh, 3.6 seconds, which is higher than what Amazon Basin states. So maybe they've modified these numbers a little bit, which is which is fine. So um, after the first successful attack um, of 20% damage and stun length for one charge level, um, every successful attack following will reset the duration and increase the charge level, resulting in plus percent damage and stun length for that level being applied to the next successful attack until the maximum a charge level is reached. So what this means is is that the um, the stun length, even though it says 3.6 seconds, is not actually 3.6 seconds because you have to actually hit the monster a certain number of times to uh, build up the charges and actually make that stun length the right amount. Let's go back to my lower damage crossbow here so that I can actually not one-shot everything. And you'll notice that when I stun the target, it certainly was not 3.6 seconds. However, the more charges that I get, if I go ahead and just stack up my 12 or 16 charges real quick, um, and I hit a target, you'll notice that now they're stunned for the full duration. So to get the full duration of the stun, you do need all of the charges. Um, and um, unfortunately, as you level it up, the more charges uh, that are required to max out the ability. Um, the stun length duration on this actually makes the bear even tankier, though. It's actually kind of crazy. The bear is one of the tankiest beasts, I think, in probably all of the freaking Diablo verse. Just simply because, number one, he has massive hit point pool. I mean, he can easily go over 5,000, 6,000, um, you know, health. And number two, he has a huge defensive bonus coming from the werebear form. He's unstoppable while in the werebear form. We also get a stun coming from his main attack ability, and he also has the shockwave ability, which allows him to stun literally everything around him as necessary. In fact, it's it's like just freaking silly, just how ridiculous this ability is. <clears throat> Anytime I'm in trouble, um, I can just stun everything around me. I mean, I could I could let the whole world basically, like, collapse in on me. Um, and uh, at any particular point, if I feel threatened or if I feel like I'm in trouble, I can literally just stun everything. And it's actually such a long stun duration with the shockwave at 17.2 seconds that it's kind of insane. And then on top of that, Maul is also stunning monsters at the 3.2 seconds. So you've just got like tons of defensive abilities to prevent monsters from dishing out damage to you. Um, tons of defense to prevent them from hitting you. And even if they do hit you, you know, good luck them actually causing you any strife. You just You just power through it like a monster. So, Maul is, unfortunately, the only real attack ability, the physical attack ability that the were werebear has. The werewolf, of course, has Feral Rage, <coughs> Rabies, Fury, Fire Claws, and Hunger, which is a total of one, two, three, four, five attack abilities that they could possibly use. The werebear, unfortunately, only has one, two, three. Um, and, uh, honestly, I don't even really count Hunger. Because it really does so little damage, and um, it's really just there to restore your health and mana um, in, like, time of need. Now, most of the time, I don't even end up using it. So, if we really narrow it down, Werebear has two attack abilities, and freaking Werewolf has four. Um, which, because I mean, the Werewolf has four, because the Werewolf also doesn't use Hunger, really. 
Um, you will, however, find that Maul is uh, is a pretty formidable ability, and um, if used properly with the correct items, can dish out some pretty insane amounts of damage. As you can see clearly, I'm currently only at uh, 7.86k damage, and with the full Maul buff running, which does last for 20 seconds, by the way, which is pretty nice, um, I can get up to uh, 12,000 damage with this particular build, and this is not even this is not even maxed out. Like I could I could definitely have more damage with this setup. Um, I'm not using a Metamorphosis Helmet, for instance, or even a Jalal's, and that would have a huge bump in the amount of damage that I could put out. Um, I'm also uh, not using uh, um, to, 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 uh, all the correct charms here. Um, I am using three 2020s, though, which is pretty nice. Uh, those are, of course, cheated in. Most of the stuff is cheated in. And um, that helmet is really, like, the main thing that's just, like, wrong. <laughs> Uh, High Lords, of course, is nice because you can, of course, Deadly Strike with Maul, which is definitely going to uh, up the damage even further. So 12,000 multiplied by 2, which means that I'm doing, what, 24,000 potentially if I get a Deadly Strike, uh, which I can also stack with the uh, High Lords. So we got 15, and we got our uh, 32. So we're looking at, what, uh, 40, 5, 6, 7. It's a 47% chance to just double uh, the damage that we're outputting. Um... I think, uh, I think this is one of the safest freaking forms. I definitely think that uh, Werewolf is still higher damage output, just simply because it's so fast, and also Fury is just such a good uh, attacking skill, much like Zeal. Um, but uh, there's definitely something to be said about the big giant werebear running around murdering everything. And uh, the big green circle going around you, unfortunately, does not indicate the charge level as well as it should. So there are only four stages to the charge level. Um, they are shown here. Um, these are the four stages of the charge level. You have your charge one, charge two, charge three, charge four, and then eventually your uh, your maximum charge level, which is the when it glows and everything. Uh, this really doesn't help all that much. Um, because if I let my charge um, go down completely here, let me show you kind of like what I mean. It takes 16 hits to reach maximum. The first one shows that I've activated the skill. The second one shows that I'm currently at charge level 2. The third hit shows that I'm at charge level 3. The fourth hit shows I'm at charge level 4. And then the final hit shows that I am at maximum charges, right? But the problem with this is that I'm not at maximum charges. As you can see, my damage is still increasing. Uh, it's still increasing. It's still increasing. And... Ooh, is there any more monsters for me to whack? Come on. There we go. Still increasing. Now, I believe it has finally finished. So this is the final charge level. And the problem with this is that the charge level indicator kind of doesn't have enough pips to actually show you like the full charges um, which is why like looking at this charge level indicator is not going to give you an accurate representation of how far along you are on the ability um, instead what you have to understand or you may want to look up is how many hits it takes to reach your maximum charge level so that you know for instance, in this particular case, our maximum charge level at level 27 is 16 hits, which is what we currently are at right now. So we know that it's going to take us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13, 14, 15, and then of course 16. 16 hits to completely max out the ability. And what do we get for maxing out the ability? We get our attack speed, we get our damage bonus, and uh, of course we also get our stun length duration capped out as well. <coughs> I think that's pretty much everything for Maul. Um, I think the next video will probably be Shockwave, which I get to... Uh, <laughs> I get to talk about how it was very briefly... Uh, buffed up and then trashed into the dirt because it was a bug. Uh, as always, thanks for watching and uh, keep watching.